Okay, in an advanced open water dive course, there is this core um, dive that you cannot. It's not elective. You can't choose between two: a deep dive and a navigation dive. So, what is actually a navigation dive about? If you really read about the advanced open water dive course, it is not only about compass navigation and then doing a search pattern or a, you know a square. No, it's, it's not only about it. It is just a part of it. A big part of it. It is on how are you going to know where you are in the dive site while you are diving and also where you are heading to and what you should do if you find yourself lost. That is the main purpose of a navigation training dive in an advanced open water dive course. Of course, compass, using compass is certainly one of them. Okay, So when you are doing an advanced open water dive course, never just you know, take your navigation dive lightly. Okay. You may wonder why a dive instructor, a dive master would, would know the place so well. Oh, uh, because they have been there hundreds of times. No, not really. I have been diving in enough places. Even the first times, you know, we can remember where is the entry and how to come out from the water and then uh, where we are when we are diving, as long as the briefing is clear. So what you want to achieve is you listen to a briefing and you know exactly what kind of dive you are heading to. And then when you're in the water, you know exactly, not exactly, you know roughly at least where's the direction. Let's say where's the wall, left hand, right hand going towards where, you know, what's the depth change, you know, how the current, are you going against current, drift with the current. So those are all the elements of navigation dive, okay? So basically, um, a dive master, if you bring a dive master to a city with, um, well, with unfamiliar a landmark, the dive master will get lost as well. Okay, a dive master will tell you that it's from feelings that they can come back. No, no not really. It's from all, it's exactly the same as your navigation in the town. It's from all the landmark that you know, you know you're familiar with, okay? From all the road signs that you understand and you can interpret it, okay? From all the, um, uh, anything. We can't use the GPS or anything because underwater there's no signal. Okay, I tried before. No, I cannot. Okay, so basically, in a navigation, what uh, instructors will help you is give you tips of how what to look for okay looking at the briefing how you should imagine it's just very simple uh, information for example reef on your right reef on your left that's good enough if you are lost what you should do that is also a part of the navigation you may think it's a loss of time which possible no okay and uh, yes, you can surface every time when you got lost. Not all the time. If you don't listen to the briefing carefully, sometimes you know you got lost. You're on the other side of the island because of the current. Okay, yeah, you still lost even when you come up. Okay, so listen to the briefing. How to understand? You know those are things that people describe you or ask questions to make you understand how the di coming dive that you are you'll be going into is a part of navigation. For example. When the dive side going shallower means that you are going back to the beach. Yeah, it's simple, but that is where we started from. So all the instructor dive master understand is when they go to a new dive site, they can go to a shore dive, you know, looking at the map and then come back to the original spots. If you can't, then uh, uh, well, you should know where to surface, where to surface as well. Okay, so learn all this and then put it into a diving. If you keep on following people, uh, uh, if the person is lost, you are lost too, of course. Yeah? Or what if the person is not there? Okay? So, you know, 